watu wengi kule katikati kulikuwa na vitisho kulikuwa na njama lakini Mungu alisambaratisha njama zote na tukawa na uchaguzi wa amani na tukawa na uchaguzi huru na haki na tukaondoa siasa ya ukabila katika siasa ya taifa letu la Kenya na ndio sababu tuko na reason we are here to thank god in a thanksgiving service because despite all the plans and schemes god not only gave us a peaceful election but in this election we demonstrated as the people of kenya that we can vote on issues not tribes we can vote on an agenda not mere rhetoric kwa hivyo tunamshukuru mungu sana kwa sababu siasa ya kenya kwa uchaguzi huu imeinuka na leo watu wa mataifa mengi katika bara letu la Afrika na hata duniani kote wanasherehekea uchaguzi wa Kenya because we did it by the grace of God to be peaceful and to eliminate the cancer of tribalism that has plagued our country for long so mimi nawashukuru sana na tumefika hapa kwa sababu ya hiyo jambo moja ya shukrani tuko na kazi nyingi tumeelezwa na hawa viongozi na hiyo kazi yote ya barabara vile mnavyojua barabara zilikuwa makaribu mwaka moja na nusu iliyopita mimi nataka niwahakikishie ile kitu mimi nilisema na huyu deputy wangu na serikali yetu tulisema hatuwezi kuendesha Kenya katika ile barabara ya madeni tena na tutahakikisha ya kwamba tunaweka uchumi yetu mahali ambapo hatutakuwa na madeni tutahakikisha kwamba maendeleo yetu iko katika msingi wa ile ushuru tunakusanya kama wa Kenya tuko na pesa ya kutosha tukikusanya ushuru kila mtu alipe kodi mahali inafaa alipe tutakuwa na pesa ya kutosha kuendesha taifa letu la Kenya na kuondoa madeni ambayo yanakumba taifa letu pale kulikuwa na uzembe ya watu ambao hawataki kukusanya ushuru tukawa na watu ambao walitumia mamlaka kuondoa ushuru kwa watu wengine kwa sababu huyu ni rafiki wa ule asilipe ushuru kwa sababu huyu ni mtoto wa ule asilipe ushuru kwa sababu huyu ni ndugu ya ule asilipe ushuru hiyo maneno tumesema Kenya haitakuwa animal farm kila mtu atalipa ushuru mdogo na mkubwa na ndio tumesema pale kwa kulipa ushuru mimi ndio nitakuwa namba 1 regarding namba 2 wengine wafuate mpaka kila mkenya kwa sababu haiwezekani kwamba mkenya wa kawaida analipa ushuru wale wadosi wanatafuta njia ya kukwepa kulipa ushuru kwa sababu wako na uwezo wa kisiasa ama wa kiserikali haitafanyika tena every citizen is going to pay their part of tax so that we can run our country on the basis of our own resources and we can eliminate the cancer of debt that is threatening to destabilize our economy tunaelewana jameni na ndio mimi nawashukuru sana na nataka nimshukuru yule aliyeombea uchumi wetu you spoke so well and you spoke for us so tutashirikiana namna hiyo na vile vile tumesema mambo yetu ni matatu kwanza ni lazima tusimamishe uchumi wetu our first assignment is to consolidate our economy to make sure that our economy is on sound footing na jambo la pili ni kuunganisha wa Kenya wote mimi nawashukuru mimi nimeenda na nimesema kwa taifa letu la Kenya ndio tuweze kuondoa kasumba ya kisirani ya ukabila na chuki tumesema serikali hii 
ambayo tumetengeneza kwa mapenzi ya Mungu tutashughulikia mahitaji ya kila mkenya yule alitupigia kura hakutupigia kura bora ni mkenya analipa ushuru serikali hii tutafanya kazi bila mapendeleo ndio tuweze kuondoa siasa chafu ambayo imeharibu taifu letu kwa muda mrefu na ndio mimi nawauliza ndugu zangu sote tutembee pamoja ndio tusiwapatie nafasi wale walioteka nyara nchi yetu kwa miaka nyingi kwa kuuza migawanyiko kuuza ukabila kuuza uoga ndio waweze kuendesha mambo yao wa Kenya wa kwame katika mambo ya under development that paradigm we are changing and i want to ask every citizen of the republic of kenya i have said as president that we are going to unite this country we are going to consolidate our economy and every citizen is going to be treated equally irrespected irrespective of how they voted because they are taxpayers and we have one country called Kenya and we are a democratic nation those in the opposition are in the opposition because our democracy and our constitution provides for an opposition but we are going to make sure that we serve all Kenyans equally Mimi vile vile nataka mjue ya kwamba kuna watu hawaja furahi ya kwamba tulifanya uchaguzi ukawa ni wa amani na ukawa hauna ukabila. Ndio wamerudi kwa ile njama yao walikuwa wanaendesha